Hello, Lola's. Welcome back to another video. Again, I have baby Noah, and he is going to get his baba. He still hasn't got on his socks and shoes <laughs> because, see, I got to have my baba first. <laughs> and mommy didn't go get my socks yet. So, um, I'm going to give him a bottle. He is Willow by Claire Teller, and he does have a drink and wet. So, I will feed him a warm bottle, and he's going to wet his diaper, and then I'm going to change him. Yep. Um, so, guys, you know the drill. Please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. If not, go ahead and smash that red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share with all your friends, whether they like dolls or not. <laughs> um, and... If you want to support this channel, please make sure that you join the chatterbox. The link is in the description bar. You do have to be 18 years or older, and it is $1.99 to join, and that is per month. Um, so, now that we've said all that, don't forget to get your merch, because <laughs> that is another thing, another way that you can help support this channel, and all my little shenanigans um but anyway i want to get him on this bib because he drools a lot i don't know why but my babies all most of all my babies they just drool a lot i had this bib i bought this bib for i don't know if you guys remember little daryl but i had this bib for little daryl and the whole set I bought him a lot of bibs because he used to drool a lot um it was just one of his little conditions and then um oh did I bring the is it KY here all right so I'm gonna use a little bit of KY for the bottle so that it can you don't have to you know back in the day we used to pull the chin and squeeze the jaws all that stuff to to get the um the pacifiers in and all that stuff child we got lazy and now what we do is we lubricate the um bottle either with powder or um the the ky and then boom we done so but yeah the the most Fun part about the feeding is that it feels real as he's drinking and why is this like, oh my God, it's like running out. I don't know why I do this. Is this, what, what do I do wrong? You guys know I cannot feed this child for the life of me. Now I just did this bottle like this, but all of a sudden, it just, I should have put it on the other side. Lord have mercy, baby, wet from head to toe. Okay, this ain't going to work out. Let's try this this way. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at him. <laughs> wait you, wait you, wait you. All right, let's try this again. We're going to try it this way. Okay, now we got it. Lord have mercy, child. But um, but yeah um, so I bought this one a while back, and that's you know that's the thing. I don't wet the baby up, but that's the thing. I I buy stuff, and then you just buy stuff when you see it and you want it, and you think, oh, that's cute. And I be finding stuff with tags on it all the time. So that really makes me wonder, are we buying more than we need to be buying? Are we wasting money now? He not, it's not leaking. But too late now, I've got them all wet. But are we, are we spending more than we should be spending? Like, 
I know some of us can afford it and stuff like that, but I'm just saying, like, if stuff is just sitting in the closet with tags on it and you using it a year or two later or not using it at all kind of makes me wonder if we we overspending you know so i kind of slowed down on that i only buy stuff now is if i absolutely love it and if i don't use it within you know first few like maybe in two months or so i'm either sending it in a box opening or I am giving it to a real baby. I'm not holding on to stuff as much as I used to. And I'm not buying as much either. I barely shop for my, my babies now. Barely. When I say barely, I mean barely shop for them. Um, just mainly because my babies wear the same clothes. You know, they share each other clothes. And... I just don't see the purpose of just, you know, every every baby I got to spend all this money. Lord, son, I am so sorry. So I just, that's how another way that I do it. You'll be amazed when you go back in your closet and pull out some of the stuff that you haven't used in a long time. And then you put it on a new baby, how different it looked on that baby versus, you know, the old baby or the time you used it before you'll really be amazed at that so that's you know that's why i <laughs> he's like mom i just want to go to sleep that's why i don't even bother anymore i'm just like okay if it's a real special baby i might buy something like one outfit or so like that but i mean even with um with noah I didn't even, I didn't really go crazy, crazy. I think I did buy him a couple nice outfits. And then that's it. He pretty much wears um, old stuff all the way back to where when I had Kingston to um, Puck. Um, some of my Reborns, um, like, um, what was my other baby name? The, the Indian baby. Gosh, I can't even think of it. Ramesh. Even him. Um, he wears some of his clothes. Like, it's, I mean, I just keep up with that stuff. And then, you know, as far as, like, buying new babies, I used to be, like, man, I used to be, like, Every time something new come out, a new scope or whatever, I wanted it. I had to have it. Um, but then, you know what? Where's your, oh, I left it over there. I was looking for his, um, his little binky. I was going to give him the other binky, but I'll give him this Sesame Street. So when I was looking for his Elmo, I was going to give it to him for the first time, but I'll let him have that. But yeah, um, I used to have to buy the next, you know, the next best thing I, I did. But even now, I've started where I look at it, I love it, I want it. I go through all the different phases, but then I realize that financially it's it's not a good move for me and then I calm down I get over it I pull my babies out that I currently have and I enjoy them from there I don't know if you guys can see but this thing is on swell his um the line is green 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 <laughs> green 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 Um, but yeah, but it's nothing wrong with, you know, wanting to get the new ones and if you can afford it, getting them because trust me, as much as I say, I got it under control really. Oh, I love to see his little wrinkles in his tummy when I do this. See, that is the little stuff that you guys can't see on camera. And that is the little stuff also that 
is what I love about the soft silicone. Um, especially the new soft because the new soft to me <clears throat> is softer than even the premium the premium older um clear dolls um like the zoe's and all them and stuff i feel i feel like in a they don't have that that spongy slow rise type thing as much but i feel like the um the kits kind of have an upgraded softness than the old um the old claire claire Tella premium babies um her premium babies of course now have a upgraded to that so i guess the i don't know how to explain that i guess the kits took the took on what her I don't know I can't explain it but this to me um the the kits are very very soft they just I don't know they just feel really nice they feel realistic they're not rub a rubbery silicone they're not too like hollow feeling like some silicone I felt before in the past I don't have one necessarily in my collection now but I I have had a baby before where you you know where you squish it and it just feels like the legs and the stuff just kind of collapse. It kind of makes you wonder like if it's solid inside type thing. Um, and then you have the ones that feel very very like um, thick and spongy and heavy. The silicone feels heavy. This does not. It 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 does have a more realistic feel but again they're they're all dolls and stuff like that and it's not that deep to some people but for me i do enjoy the quality of the silicone um of the clartella babies and the the other babies that she pours um for another sculptor i really i do like that i like the quality of it um, and it, it's some other good ones out here that, that pours really nice that I enjoy as well. But since this is what I have in my collection, this is what I talk about. <laughs> right, Poo Poo? Okay. So, I'm looking so cute. See, I know people love to get the babies fully dressed and get them all in their shoes and stuff. But doesn't he just look so cute? Even though he doesn't even have on his shoes, he's not fully dressed. He's just like, hey, see me. Let's see me. Give me some more light over here. There you go. I'm so sweet. I love um the way she did his feet too. His feet, the coloring in his feet is amazing. I I mean to be honest, even though I've seen like his sculpt copied. Um, several times people have been copying like his body and stuff like that I don't I was feeling upset about it and I was feeling shaded by it like it's um taken away from the value I don't know I don't know how I felt why I felt so I just I don't know I just think it's not right but nevertheless my point is is that I do feel like when you get an artist that you love work as far as the painting goes just alone from not even with the including the sculpting that is worth the money all in itself like for me Claire Teller paints to my taste like psh, right there and so her painting to me is worth probably I want to say it's like 60 to 70 percent of the cost of the doll is what I I am into with her with that particular artist um but you know I have other artists that I like work and um I would feel the same way you know um her sculpting is phenomenal of course but you know it's my taste of painting but some other people you know like you may like 
this or that but anyway i don't know how i got onto that but yeah you know just guys buy what you like buy what you love um there's a lot of talented artists out here that's painting and doing their thing you know i still love watching paula briggs do her stuff i haven't you know bought a baby from her since the 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 one i had selena but i mean i really like her work i think her work is very detailed i think she's neat i think that she has a one customer service so you know i would feel the same way about her i if i pay the extra money that she charged compared to what's on the market definitely paying for the service that she provide the and the um her 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 talent that's what i'm paying for when i buy from other artists and um so yeah she would be one of my go-to's if i bought another doll like that's one of you know one of the people but again like i said it's a lot of other talent out there and i don't know all of them um i'm learning more and more you know like when i went to the doll show i seen some other people work that looks really good in silicone you know they're painting um it's just aa african american or biracial is a little bit harder and more challenging to find and i just felt like you know those are people that probably can do pretty well um anyway talk to you guys later and bye-bye.